Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Monday. It is about 72 right now. I think uh, the high today will be 76, 77 they say. Just perfect. Just perfect. I want to do all the things outside today. But uh, I'm still sick. Um, I'm getting better. Still a little stuffy. But I got plenty of sleep yesterday. We got a little bit of rain uh, in the afternoon and evening. Not a whole lot, probably like less than half an inch, uh, which I can tell by the wheelbarrow or the back of my truck how much water is in there. Uh, so not much rain and uh, still, yeah, still we needed the rain. But yeah, my energy levels are not up all the way up again. So I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Let's see. I can still show you around, uh, and I've got a project or two I'll probably do. Who knows? It's Monday. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Let's go. I've got a few morning glory blooms this morning. These are probably uh, volunteers from last year's, and they're just not very big, and they don't uh, they don't last very long. But they're still nice little morning glories. Yeah, there's a nice little morning glory. And the plant that it's hanging on to, that is the Verbicina virginica, also known as frostweed. And a lot of uh, a lot of frostweed all over my property, all over the place. You can see the little white flowers. Um, I don't know, they lasted for a good week or so, but they're all flowered out. This is also called frostweed. Um, some of you may remember me getting all excited about these tissue sickles that I saw my first winter here. And what it is, you know, just growing out of the ground, these little, uh, like ice formations form and they you know they come out in cool shapes and all kinds of stuff but that's where they come from the frost weed that's where the frost weed gets its name because in the winter you know these die off and they've got a hollow stem that goes down into the ground and I guess they just carry the right amount of moisture and so when it gets below freezing uh, um, the warm air will come up through their hollow stem it'll hit the freezing air and there's enough moisture in it that it creates these little tissue sickles at the base and they're really cool so yeah that's another benefit the butterflies love them when they're when they're uh, blooming and then in the winter you can enjoy the tissue sickles Number two in the babies. Still got all eight of them, and I can still tell all eight of them apart. The lightest one there, right by number two, that's the white and true blue. I did take the twist tie off its leg, and uh, I can tell it apart for right now. So I'm just going to let them grow up. I know I got tons of suggestions for nail polish, and I'm like, why do people think I've just got nail polish lying around? I don't know, I'm some single dude who, man, anyway, yeah, I don't have any nail polish. But what I'll try to do is get a still picture, or take a screen cap from the video, where all eight of them are in it, and then I'll label, yeah, like that one, that's the white and true blue. And then I'll try to label them so, I don't know, you can kind of keep up. The ones with the racing stripes, there are four with racing stripes, and uh, three of them are a darker color, and that one to the left there is a lighter color. So the three that are a darker color, those are number two's biological children. And then that little, uh, the white one, that's a white and true blue, and the other four are olivagers.
These purple cosmos have been putting on a pretty good show. There's only three or four plants in there. But they waited until October to start blooming. So, uh, you know, well about the time the zinnia started dying out. But I'll take them. I will take them. Very nice. And these are volunteers. In fact, this zinnia patch, I'll, I just put a zinnia seed mix in here. So these are definitely volunteers. The zinnias in this area are not volunteers. I planted those. And then there's a couple pink ones mixed in with the purple. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the cosmos. And it seems like the butterflies are stopping by. So, cool. I'll be saving seeds out here. And then, you know, like uh, where that uh, electric pole is. In that whole area there. I doubt I'm going to get control of it. And it will probably get bulldozed again. So I might just spread out, you know, a whole bunch of flower seeds uh, in the spring in that area. Hey. Spider lilies, surprise lilies. There's a whole bunch of them in here, but I can't uh, can't see them very well. But uh, next time I'm in the mood and have the energy for some weed whacking, I will try to clear a path for that. Maybe today. We'll see. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Oh, and I got more of them. Let's go take a look at those. Bob, what are you doing on my... On my doorsteps. It's a beautiful day. Shouldn't you be out in the sun or? No. You're like, there's food inside. I just want to get in there for a minute. All right, I'll go in in a minute. You can have some food, Bob. More of those hurricane lilies, spider lilies. I'm not exactly sure what they all are. Naked lilies. But yeah, more of those, and uh, those, I knew those were there last year. They're in amongst a whole bunch of poke bear here. But one of these years I'll get around to digging those up and uh, relocating them. But yeah, nice surprise for early October. Oh, it finally decides to land where I can't see it. I believe that is the same butterfly, the Gulf Fritillary. Oh, it's too sunny. I can't see if it's in the screen. Gulf Fritillary. And I guess another name for them is the Passion Butterfly. Because they love passion fruit vines. And I guess that's where they'll lay their eggs and their caterpillars hang out on passion fruit vines. And where this one is flipping and flopping around in here, there is, that's a passion fruit vine right there. So yeah, if you, if you want these uh, gulf fritillaries hanging out, grow some passion fruit vines.
this project I got going on today that's those are that's the bottoms of the incubators and so I'm gonna clean those out and get those ready got my incubators cleaned out and I just used uh, just water and uh, uh, just a dash of Castile soap in a wash rag and that does the trick so got these all washed out and ready to go the reason why I'm doing this today is because I want to throw some eggs in an incubator. Oh, uh, these are five Whiting True Blue eggs. I believe these are from Mary Tyler Moore. And the reason I believe that is because Carol Burnett and Private Benjamin are molting. And uh, so that, and Betty White doesn't lay many eggs. And uh, so that leaves Mary Tyler Moore. But see, I moved their coop and I put in new nesting boxes and took their old ones out. So Mary Tyler Moore hasn't laid any eggs since then. So these are all over a week old. These are close to two weeks old. So I am not expecting any of these to hatch. This is just, uh, hey, I've got them, might as well give it a try. Um, so I am going to put them in the larger incubator that has the automatic turner that makes it easier on me. So I'm going to do that right now, get these in the incubator. And today is the 7th, so we'll see, you know, around the 28th or so if I get lucky. Actually, I'll probably candle them before then. Although that candling light I got, the, the light has dimmed out um, considerably. I wonder if I can get a new bulb for that. Anyway. Let's put some eggs in an incubator, see what happens. I'm not expecting any of these to hatch. Five purebred Whiting True Blue eggs in the incubator. That was a pretty good brunch. That was. I never buy breakfast sausage. So I splurged on some breakfast sausage the other day. And I never buy the biscuits. Those are just those, you get a bag full uh, the frozen ones for like three bucks and uh, still pretty good. I'll be making my own biscuits from scratch one of these one of these months. Not today though, but that was a good good brunch. Uh, yeah, I don't get breakfast sausage. <laughs> oh, it's been fun splurging here and there. So yeah, now it's time for a nap. But it's such a gorgeous day. I feel bad about taking a nap, but. I need, uh, I need to get my energy and strength back and get over this cold, so I will be napping. And because of that, uh, that might be all the video I take of today. We'll just see. It's already... Uh, I'll wake up from my nap. There'll be daylight left. Who knows? In any event, take her easy, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a pleasant week with weather as great as this. Later. Yeah.